Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two squares, uh, square A, B, C, D, and this another square E, F, C, G, as you can see in this uh, diagram, put together such that the area of this uh, square E, F, C, G is divided into two parts. This uh, yellow area is uh, 250 centimeter square, whereas this uh, blue area has uh, 150 centimeter square and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our action plan we can see that this uh, green uh, area is equal to the area of this uh, square ABCD minus uh, the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, EBP and minus uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. And now we can see that we have been given uh, this uh, yellow area. So our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square ABCD and the area of this uh, white uh, triangle EBP as well. And here's our next step. Uh, let's focus on this uh, square EFCG and we can see the area of this uh, square EFCG consists of uh, two regions, yellow region and uh, the blue. And we can see that the area of this uh, yellow region is 250 and the area of this uh, blue region is 150. So let me go ahead and write it down equal to 250 plus 150. So that is going to be equal to 400. So therefore the area of this uh, square EFCG turns out to be 400 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, this 400 could be written as uh, 20 whole uh, square. So therefore, the side length uh, of this uh, square EFCG uh, turns out to be 20 centimeter. So therefore, all these uh, side lengths of this uh, square EFCG turn out to be 20 across uh, the board. And now let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, CFP. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half uh, times base times height. And in our case, in this uh, blue right triangle, uh, our area is uh, 150 and our height is uh, 20 and uh, our base is uh, unknown. Let's go ahead and figure out our base now. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area in our case is 150 equals to a half uh, times uh, our base uh, PF uh, is unknown times our height uh, is uh, 20 and if we simplify this one we got 150 equals uh, to 10 uh, times uh, PF and now let's divide both sides by 10 this is uh, gone so our PF uh, length turns out to be 15 centimeter so therefore our this uh, pf length turns out to be 15 and we know that this uh, whole side length of this square is uh, 20 so therefore uh, this uh, length ep is going to be 20 minus 15 is going to give us uh, 5 and now let's focus once again on this uh, blue right triangle uh, CFP and we want to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, PC. So this side length is unknown. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus P square equal to C square. In our case, uh, let me go ahead and call our longest uh, leg as side uh, C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, as lowercase uh, b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 15. So this is going to become 
15 square b is 20 whole square equal to c square so therefore our c square turns out to be equal to 625 let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so therefore our c value turns out to be 25 centimeter and we can see that our this uh, side uh, c is uh, same as uh, this uh, length uh, pc so therefore our this uh, pc length uh, turns out to be 25 centimeter and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, blue right triangle and this uh, white uh, right triangle as well and we can see that this uh, angle is uh, congruent to this angle because they are vertical angles let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as uh, well and now let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our complementary angles in other words uh, the sum of these uh, two angles must be equal to 90 degrees and now we know that this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be beta and likewise uh, this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be angle of beta so therefore we conclude that these are uh, two right triangles uh, this uh, triangle uh, ebp and this other triangle uh, cfp are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportions in other words we are going to have a ratio of uh, bp and this uh, number five equals to the ratio of uh, 15 and 25 so therefore let me go ahead and write down the ratio of uh, bp divided by 5 equals to 15 divided by 25 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 5 to isolate bp and on the left hand side this 5 and 5 is gone so bp length turns out to be if we multiply 15 times 5 is going to be 75 divided by 25 is going to give us uh, 3 centimeter so therefore our this uh, bp length uh, turns out to be 3 centimeter and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, bp length is uh, 3 and this uh, pc length uh, is uh, 25 so therefore uh, this whole uh, side length uh, bc of this uh, square is going to be 3 plus 25 is going to make uh, 28 uh, centimeter so therefore the side length uh, of this uh, square uh, a b c d turns out to be 28 uh, centimeter and now let's recall once again the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, represents the side length of the square so therefore the area of this uh, square a b c d is going to be the square of this uh, side length so let me write down 28 uh, whole uh, square and that is going to be equal to 784 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, square a b c d turns out to be 784 uh, centimeter square and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, white uh, right triangle uh, ebp and we are going to use the pythagorean theorem to figure out uh, this uh, side length uh, eb and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as side c i'm going to call this unknown side a and this side uh, lowercase uh, b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, we can write a square plus b in our case is 3 square and c is 5 whole square let's go ahead and subtract 9 from both sides this is gone so therefore a square turns out to be 16 let's undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our a value turns out to be positive 4 
and now we can see our this uh, a length uh, is same as our e b which is equal to 4 centimeter so therefore our this uh, e b length uh, turns out to be 4 centimeter and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, e b p and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half uh, times base times height and in our case our base is 4 and our height is uh, 3 so therefore the white uh, triangle area is going to be equal to a half uh, times our base is 4 and height uh, is uh, 3 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, turns out to be six uh, centimeter square and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region and now let's recall once again uh, this uh, equation green area equals to this uh, square abcd area minus the white triangle area and minus the yellow shaded area and we have already figured out our square ABCD area and the white triangle area as well. And we already know the yellow area as 250. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this one. So we got this square ABCD area is 784 minus white area is 6 minus yellow area is 250. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 528. So thus our green area turns out to be 528 uh, centimeters square. And here's our final uh, answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.